Hey guys, um, let me try to give you a five minute um, update of what of what this site looks like now. Uh, here is the, this is the home page, uh, the main home page of the whole website. Uh, but the part that I've been concentrating on, obviously, is the dictionary app. So if I go to dictionary here. Um, it takes me to the search page, uh, which is like the home page of the dictionary uh, application. Uh, now, um, since the last time, I don't know when, um, I have implemented the signing in um, feature. So now I'm signed in as uh, Beato Festus. So I can log out here and uh, log in again. Um, so this, the register is also working, obviously. So uh, if you are a new user, you can register here. Uh, you can register here, or if you are a registered user, you can log in. Um, so on the on the home page here, there are just a couple of things that I've implemented. On the left hand side, uh, on the left side bar, there are three um, uh, navigation items or links to view all the English words in the dictionary and also to view all Oshindonga words and also all the idioms in the dictionary. So if I click here, it will take me to the list of all the words that are in the dictionary. Currently, there are um, over 6,000 uh, English words um, and only about only 35 uh, translations into Oshindonga so far and uh, how many? Three idioms. So that is just for convenience purpose in case uh, you just want to take a look at uh, all the words that are in the dictionary. Um, uh, on the right side bar here, there's um, a list of uh, top 10 contributors. So that means every time a registered user updates something on the dictionary or on the site, then uh, it also tally up, it will add up to their tally here. So if you check the main account that I've been using for, for, for most of my interaction with this site is the one that I'm, that is logged in now the first one so i've done um 121 uh contributions additions modifications and all that uh obviously some of the things i have done with um uh some of the things that i've done have not been recorded to this username some of them are indicating user as none uh, i believe because of the way i've added some of the words uh, programmatically into the database and all that. Uh, but what I want to demonstrate here, for example, is uh, since now I have 121, if I say go to Oshindonga, add Oshindonga words, and try to add a word or two, let me just try to find a simple word defined. Uh, you won't believe how difficult this turned out to be to translate these words into Oshindonga. So let me take, for example, journey, uh, pick journey. So to add an Oshindonga word, you need to pick a corresponding English word first, and then you translate it into Oshindonga. So journey, let me say, uh, friend or something like that. So, uh, so if I submit this one, you, uh, you, you choose here whether it's an abbreviation, a proper noun, or a normal word. So this one is a normal word. So and then I submit. Um, so it gives you um, a confirmation that uh, the word, uh, the word uh, that you just added have, has been added to the dictionary. And then you have the option to add some more words. Uh, if you click here, it will take you back to that page again to add uh, some more words. Um, but uh, I don't want to add some more words. What I want to check here is if the tally has been updated. Now you can see that I have now 
122. So this one updates constantly as as as, as users update the uh, dictionary, then their tallies are also being updated here. Um, in the middle here we have the search search box. Uh, we have the options to choose whether we are searching or an English or Shindonga word and then we have a list of um, suggested searches these are basically uh, random words random English words that are taken from the database and if I click any of this word it would search it automatically and if there's a definition for it or examples and all that they would be displayed here but unfortunately for the one that I just clicked now it's not yet translated so it shows here that the word you searched is not yet translated into Washingtonga. Um, I don't see any one that I have uh, translated here, but uh, this list uh, updates every time you, refre you refresh the page. So I think this one is has a translation. This one is person. So if I search, if I click person, then you see that it's translated into Washingtonga, but it has no definition. So it says uh, no definition found. Um, uh, but here I would like to search, just demonstrate how to search a word. For example, one of the few words that I have attempted to define is, for example, love. Uh, so if I search it as an Oshindonga word, it won't give me uh, good results. So it do tell me that the word um, I searched for is not found. Uh, so the appropriate language here is English. Uh, if I want to search in Oshindonga, then I need to type it in Oshindonga, like Holly, then I choose Oshindonga, and then it would give me uh, the right result. Um, okay, I see something not really adding up to what I expected here. It's something I think I need to check because there are more... No, no, no. Okay, it's actually fine. Uh, but if I search love, because love has more translations of Washington, it would give me more results than it has given me uh, searching it from, uh, searching it with the Washington um, translation. So if I search love, it would actually give me more results. Uh, all the different meanings of love in Oshindonga. So depending on how many translations have been added, they will all be listed down here. And if there are any Oshindonga idioms added uh, that are related to this word, they will appear here. And then you get uh, your word entry. Uh, and then if it's a verb, you get your tenses here. If it's a noun, you get your plurals down here in the middle. And then below here you get the definition, first is the English definition, and then uh, an example or examples, and then the corresponding Oshindonga definition and the corresponding Oshindonga example. So this is these are definitions for one entry, the first entry, and then the second entry is uh, defined down here. And uh, it's only that these words are not... Uh, fully updated, you would see all um, the other information in the middle here. Uh, for example, you have here, this one is, the plural is defined here. So whatever is available should be displayed in the appropriate, uh, in the appropriate places here. Uh, but what you can notice is also that since I'm signed in, I have the options to edit any, any part of these entries. Uh, I, if it's a definition that I feel like it needs to be modified, I can simply just click edit. And if it's um, an example that I feel like needs to be modified, I can simply just click edit here. Uh, these options are not available for unregistered users. So if I sign out, if I just log out here and then search again, and let me search for a different word name yeah so you would see that now the editing options the edit options are now not available uh, because now i'm searching as a guest user and 
or rather as a guest and not as a registered user. But uh, like I was saying, if there are any idioms uh, defined for that word, they would appear here. So for this word, I have added uh, just two example idioms. So you get the first idiom here, and then the second down there. Depending on how many you have, they will all be listed down here. And they will come down as you um, show and, and, and collapse uh, these items down here. Um, but if I log in again, uh, if I log in again and search for name again, or maybe this time search it in Russian and um, So you would see that I would get the results, but I also get the options to edit uh, if I need to. Um, now on top here, there are also then options to um, add English words. There are options to add Oshindonga words, uh, and there are there is there are there is also context information on each page. For example, if you come to add English words, you get on the left hand side uh, a random list of uh, not random, but this is these are the most latest added English words. Uh, on the right hand side, unfortunately, here I haven't uh, added anything. But if you check for Shindonga, um, on the left hand side, you have uh, your newly added Shindonga words. But on the right hand side, you get your untranslated English words, which gives uh, you is of update. Uh, so you can pick any word here, for example, color. Uh, so these are the words that have not yet been translated, so you can simply uh, search it in the list here, that is color, um, and then you provide uh, a translation here, and then you submit. So this one has been added to the dictionary. So if, if you come to add definition, you also, you also find uh, contextual information. On the left hand side, you have your newly uh, defined words. And then on, on the right hand side, you have undefined words. So these are translated words, words that have been translated between English and Oshindonga, but they have not yet been defined. No definitions have been added uh, to these items. So it makes it easy for you just simply to pick uh, a word pair that you know has been uh, that you know exists in the dictionary, then you just um, um, define it down here. When you define, you basically choose the word pair, and then you choose the part of speech of that definition, whether you are adding a verb or noun definition. If it's a if it's a noun definition and it's a count definition uh, and it's a count countable noun, it also gives you this option to add at least two. Uh, synonyms uh, for that word. Uh, if it's a verb, if it's a verb, it gives you options to add tenses, the four tenses, simple, present, simple, past, present, participle, and past participle. Uh, these options, you won't get them if the, if the word is not a verb. For example, if I choose adjective, uh, you'll see that I don't get the I don't get the plurals and I don't get the tenses, so I only get uh, synonyms. Um, and also, down at examples here, uh, you would get your unexemplified definitions here, and you get your newly added uh, or newly exemplified definitions here. So, um, unfortunately, this is the only way that I have defined and have not provided an example, so I would basically just search it here and then provide an English example and the corresponding Oshindonga example and then submit. The last option is to add Oshindonga idioms. So these are the newly added idioms. These are the uh, basically just random idioms. It's more or less the same thing because there are only a few items in the, in the table or in the database. Uh, but what you would do here is you select a word pair for example, bullet, and then if you know any idiom that 
uh, that contains this word this word then you can just add it here the idiom itself you know shindonga and then the meaning uh, of that idiom down here also you know shindonga and then you submit so that's it uh, i thought this would be a five minute but i think without a script i couldn't keep it within five minutes so ciao